Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So as y'all seen in the last video, got the 07, shipped in really good, runs great. It did have a cylinder five misfire, but I got that fixed. Just had to adjust the, just mess with the plug wire and the plug wire on the coil and it fixed itself. So I don't know what the deal was there, but the 07's running and driving and shifting awesome. So I'm really happy with the 07. So in this video, I'm going to be working on the Grand Dam, my mom's silver Grand Dam. So this engine, it's bad. It's got like 400,000 miles on it. It has a miss. I'm pretty sure one of the rocker bolts stripped out of these uh, aluminum heads. So yeah, it's very common with these 3-4 engines. So this engine on the stand over here is out of the blue Impala. And it has a little bit of a noise, but it's definitely not as bad as this one. But so, my plan with this is I want to start getting everything on this engine disconnected, get the starter out, uh, flywheel or flex plate torque converter bolts, uh, engine mounts, AC lines, coolant lines. I got to get this air box and the fuse box pulled out. I've got to disconnect the computer and shove the harness through the firewall. Now, there's a lot of stuff I've got to get done on this thing. I'm leaving the transmission in because there's nothing wrong with the transmission. It's strictly engine so yeah that, that's my plan so I'm gonna start getting all this pulled out of here getting everything disconnected so I've got the trailblazer backed up in the driveway for the tools I got the cherry picker and the jack in the shed jack stands are here so I need to get this thing up in the air on jack stands and just start getting everything disconnected so I'm gonna start working on this thing and uh, I'll give you guys another update here shortly all right, you guys, so I've made a little bit of progress. So I've got the fuse box out, the air box out, the fuse box bracket, which is this here. And then the battery tray and the intake piece that goes here. I've got all the harnesses undone out of the fuse box. I went ahead and disconnected the shifter cable because the harness runs down here and plugs in on the transmission to the shifter thing. And then there's a ground right down there. And there, there's a few other wires that run down there. I've got up here to the ABS pump. So like all that stuff has to come off. I've been down to the uh, washer fluid reservoir motor down underneath. It's got a couple plugs. So, but I, I'm making real good progress. I, I mean, it only took me like 20 minutes, so... I'm just gonna keep trying to knock this stuff out. Like I said earlier, it's hot. It's like 104, 105. And I mean, it really helps being in the shade. And I got a fan over here to try to help keep me cool down. But man, it is hot today. So yeah, so I'm just gonna keep working on this thing and go ahead and finish getting all this stuff pulled out of here. And I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys, so I've been Working on this, made a little more progress. I've got the belt off. I've got the power steering pump unbolted and pulled out of here. I've got the fuel rail harness unplugged from the rest of the harness back here. There we go. Got the coil packs unplugged. Uh, the power steering lines have this bracket right here that goes on this stud on the back side of the alternator and with the 15 millimeter nut. So I had to remove that nut, but man, it's it's actually going really well. This is uh, it's coming along pretty quick. So I uh, got the AC line disconnected over here. Uh, battery cables are disconnected. I've got the radiator fans out. They're sitting over here. Uh, coolant is pretty much drained. Uh, throttle. Throttle body cable and the cruise control cable have been disconnected along with the shifter cable. So making really good progress. I might actually have this thing ready to be pulled out of here by tonight. I don't know if it'll be pulled out by tonight, but it'll be ready to be pulled out. So I'm going to keep working on this and trying to get all this stuff disconnected. I've still got to get my heater hoses back there. I've got to get the fuel lines. I've got to get the exhaust. Um, I still have to pull the starter out. I still have to finish unplugging 
the harness from the washer washer fluid tank it's got the motor down there and then that should be like the last thing of this lower part of the harness down here that needs to be unplugged and then there's a couple wires that run over and then I've still got this uh, the shifter shifter linkage plugs there we go <sighs> yeah making really good progress so I'm gonna keep working on this keep getting shit pulled off of here and I'll uh, give you guys another update as I make some more progress all right you guys so I'm making really good progress so I've got the car up on jack stands and over here I have both the heater hoses disconnected um, what else did I get disconnected I think oh yeah I've got the uh, uh, brake booster vacuum line disconnected the heater hose is disconnected I had to unplug the other coil pack uh, harness plugs which is all in all this piece of harness And it's only 7.30, so I've only been working on this for about an hour and a half. And I've made some really good progress, I think. But, yeah, this stuff is, it's, it's coming right along. No problems at all. There we go. Making a really good progress on this thing. So... Now what I need to do is I need to go in here under the dash. And right up here is the computer. I've got two 7 millimeters. I've got it unplugged out of the white plug and that purple plug. And then I can take this harness and it shows right through that hole right there. And then I'll just pull that whole harness out. And it just throws over the engine. And then I've just got to finish getting these couple of grounds and these other couple of plugs that are back here on the back side of the engine this other plug for this shift selector on the transmission and then once i get that out and my plug on the uh, washer reservoir motor and that should be pretty much most of the harness and then i just got to get the exhaust which is i want to say this one's three bolt but i could be wrong it might just be two but yeah it's it's getting really close so it's actually it's almost ready for me to pull the cherry picker out of the shed and go ahead and get it hooked up on the chain i can undo this engine mount i do start to pull the starter and get the torque converter flex plate bolts but other than that it's it's super close so uh david hit me up he's on his way over noah uh also hit me up he's on his way over so yeah, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of help over here in just a little bit. So, I know, maybe I'll end up getting this thing out tonight. Who knows? So, I'm going to keep working on this, try to make as much progress as I can, and I'll keep you guys updated as I go. All right, you guys, starter is out. It's hanging. There's the bolts right there. I've got the computer all disconnected. Harness is pulled through. Everything's on top. I've got the transmission all disconnected, so I still have to, that right there is the rear O2 sensor, and then I've got to get the fuel lines, this is already disconnected from the engine, so I just got to get those two fuel lines off right there, my fuel line tools right there, and then starters out, so now it's just torque converter to flex plate bolts, and that engine mount over there. And then getting the bell housing bolts. See there's one there, one over there. Yeah, right where that ground is. And there's another one down there somewhere. Else. Pretty sure there's another one down there. But yeah, I mean it's uh it's really close to coming out. Like I said, the transmission's staying in, so it's just the engine coming out. But it's super close. And then I still got to get the exhaust back here. But, yeah, I, I might actually have this thing out of here tonight. So, y'all stay tuned. I'm going to keep working on this. And I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys. So, starter is out. Everything's disconnected. 
So now I'm ready to get the uh, flex plate to torque converter bolts. So I'm gonna have to come over here and I'm gonna have to turn the wheel all the way to the right and pull this plastic cover off so I can get to the crank pulley. Then I'll have to put, I believe it's like a 17 or an 18 or something on the three fours. Might even be smaller than that, like a 15, I don't remember. But I'll have to put a breaker bar with the socket on the crank pulley to turn it over. And then uh, I'll be able to get the uh, flex plate torque converter bolts out. There are three of them. They're 18 millimeters, just like on the Grand Prix. So I've got to get those uh, three bolts out of there. And then disconnect the exhaust and the fuel lines. And then the bell housing bolts and this engine mount. And then it's ready to come out. So... Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to keep working on this and I'll give you guys another update. Whew, all right, you guys. So, made a lot more progress. We got the cherry picker out. Got it hooked up. I've got the AC line completely disconnected. Um, Y'all seen I got the uh, flex plate torque converter bolts out. All of the bell housing bolts are out. Um, I still got to get the uh, fuel lines and then I still got to get the exhaust and then there's the bracket on this side that bolts the transmission you can see it right there yeah bolts bolts onto the transmission and then bolts onto the back side of the engine so if I undo those two 13 mils right there on the transmission then the engine should lift out with the bracket on it so I've got to get that bracket undone. Once I get that bracket undone, I should be able to separate the engine from the trans. But I've still got to get the exhaust and the fuel lines. And then that bracket there. And then the engine should just come out. So it's getting really close. And it's only like, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. So I'm going to keep working. And I'll give you guys another update here shortly. All right, you guys. So I've got the brake master off. The line looks like it's been leaking right there. So I got all, all new brake lines for it. So they're all going to get replaced. So I just bent it over out of the way. But that'll give me some room for the engine to come out. And then David got the fuel lines off. And I went ahead and removed that plastic hard line just so it's out of the way. So all the wires are undone. Oh, I still got to get that rear O2. Here, pick that back up. There's a, there's a nut hiding down there. Yeah, it's off the stud that come out right there yeah. it's it's right over there next to that pile oh yeah <clears throat> but yeah so i've got a next thing i've just got to get the exhaust off and then that bracket that bolts the transmission to the back side of the engine down there and then that should be it like once i get that bracket off the engine and trans should separate and then once i get the exhaust off i should be able to lift it out and i gotta get that rear o2 sensor plug but yeah, other than that, like, it's it's about ready to come out. So, I'm going to try to hurry up and get this done. It's about 10.30 right now. So, y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys. So, we've got the engine fully disconnected from the transmission. I've got the jack under the transmission pan. Just holding the transmission level. And then, I got the mount over there undisconnected and everything's all apart and so the only thing left is getting the exhaust and the engine will come out so i'm about to get the creeper and creep up under here with some extensions and try to get this exhaust disconnected and i'll get this thing pulled out of here tonight so y'all give me a bit i'll give you guys another update all right y'all i just got the exhaust disconnected so yep yeah, we're going up with her Power steering count looks good. Now let me check over here. Let's make sure we don't have any harness hanging up. Oh, oh, oh let's see. Yeah, we got harness on the transmission uh, speed sensor. All right. Turn the wheel.
Yeah, right there. All right, the fuel lines are up and out of the way. Okay, now I can get to that other bolt on the transmission bracket. What was that, 13? No, I, it's already loose. Oh. I just remember it was wedged. I guess it wasn't all the way out. Can we go up on the jack, a pump? No, on the jack. The other side. They went. All right, that should be good. There we go. We're almost in the right. bottom of the hood there. It's loose. That's disconnected. All right. Sweet. She's swinging free, y'all. She is swinging free. I'm gonna put some more pumps on it. Yeah, we hit the top of the hood there. Can you undo it out of the... There we go, I'll hold it. Yeah, once we get like three or four pumps, we'll be able to put it back down. I'm trying to miss the AC compressor here. All right, hey, we put that rod back up where it goes. We should be over that hump now. Oh, just about. I right, put it in that hole next next down the hole. Okay, that works. All right, well, so it's in the way over here. That's okay. Well, that's all right. So that's we got washer squared. Oh yeah, guys, she's out of there. And it's only 11 o'clock. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And I started this at like yeah. 5, 5.30. <laughs> so, I mean, that really wasn't bad. Engine's out from a complete running, driving car to engine out in four and a half, five hours. Somewhere in there. Not too shabby. Yeah, I don't see any cracks in the flex plate, so... It's not looking like it was a flex plate noise. So it's gotta be either a main bearing or something in the head making noise in this engine. But it's cool, got a whole nother harness over there. So this engine will have a whole different harness because this harness has had issues with having shorts and I don't wanna have any shorts in the harness. So I'm just gonna use a whole nother harness and so far it looks like all the plugs are exactly the same, so 
there was a couple of plugs that got cut off so I'll have to wire those back on but engine is out that's great progress so tomorrow um, after I get off of work I'll go by the storage and I'm gonna see if maybe Ray or someone else has if I can use his truck and I'll just like drop that engine off that engine stand into the bed of his truck or something like I don't know how else without taking the cherry picker all the way over there and I'm not putting it in the 07 but I'll have to figure out a way to get that engine off that stand so I can get this engine on that stand but that's great progress I'm stoked I'm really happy so I guess I'm gonna get this engine the rest of the way out and we'll set it down somewhere and uh, yeah and then I'm gonna call it a night because I'm getting tired I know David's tired it's, thankfully it's cooled down a lot but man it's been hot as fuck all day and it's gonna be hot as fuck again tomorrow but the engine is out so here soon these two shall merge and make one good engine and go back in here and hopefully this car will still be a good reliable vehicle for my mom or for me as a backup either way I mean her 06 pre has been running and driving and doing everything it's supposed to do so everything should be good but it's always good to have a backup so yeah we're gonna finish getting this thing out of here and I'll give you guys another update bam and there she sits guys harness and all engine bay is empty so tomorrow oh dude this flashlight has been through hell in it it loves it but yeah so tomorrow i'm gonna try to go get the other engine stand and then whenever i get home i'm gonna use some of the wheelie clean and i'm gonna spray down the whole engine bay the subframe everything and power wash the whole whole engine bay all right you guys so y'all seen in yesterday's video that i got the engine pulled out last night of the grand am it's under the tarp still so today, I just made it home, it's about 5 o'clock, so I'm going to take the rest of this wheelie clean, and I'm going to spray down this uh, whole engine bay, transmission, the firewall, the subframe, I'm, I'm spraying down everything, and everything's getting power washed, so I've already got the power washer hooked up, water's already on, I've already got the hood pop, so all I got to do is just spray everything down, and then I can power wash the fuck out of it, so... I'm about to get all this stuff sprayed down, and then uh, I'll give you guys another update. Damn, all right guys, so here we go. I got everything sprayed down, power washed it off. It's not as clean as it can be, but it looks so much better. There is so much crap and just grease and grime everywhere. Transmission didn't come out as clean as I thought it was going to, but that's okay. It's still much better than what it was. Wheels cleaned up nice. Try to get all that subframe everywhere. Got the rack and pinion, wheel wells. Went ahead and sprayed down the rest of the car. I didn't really power wash it. I just kind of sprayed it. But, man, it, it's come out much better than what I was anticipating, so. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna do much else today. I might spray down the hood, but I don't know if I even want to do that. I'm thinking about uh, getting it off jack stands and just pushing it out into the street, and then power washing the driveway, just rinsing all this shit over to in the yard, and get it out of the way because that's just disgusting. Now it's all over my jack. So now I'm going to have to uh, power wash off my jack. And I can't really do that with all this wet cat litter everywhere. So, but yeah, I'm going to, I might spray out this uh, AC condenser because that looks pretty dirty. And, yeah, then after that I'm probably going to just get the car off the jack stands and just push it out into the street. Clean up the driveway. And then probably call it a day after that, so... I'm going to go ahead and power wash out this uh, radiator and AC condenser and I'll give you all another update. Wow, holy shit you guys, this thing 
This little free power washer I got works amazing. I got the driveway all cleaned up. Car power washed out. Try to push it back up in the driveway now. It's just, ooh, being a pain in the ass. As you see, here's all the cat litter and grime and grease that's dripped everywhere. That's all my trash pile. That's my junk axle and all that shit. The old trans filter. Old blower motor. But making really good progress. So, uh, yeah, now I'm just going to get this car pushed back up here in the driveway. Let everything dry. I'm probably just going to call it a day for today. But man, this car looks so much better. Just night and day difference. So I'm going to go ahead and get this car back in the driveway and I'll give you guys another update before I head inside. Alright you guys, well, I ended up losing a video, so got the car pushed back up. I let it dry. Uh, I called it a night. Um, but yeah, I guess somehow I lost the video or the phone didn't record or something. So I had a big issue. I had to get a new phone the other day and between transferring my memory card from my old phone to my new phone, a lot of videos got corrupted and just got deleted. So yeah, I lost some videos. Um, but yeah, everything went really good. The car turned out good. So that's going to be it for this video. This is part one. So make sure to hit the like button if you like the video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video is going to be part two and that's going to be complete tear down and rebuild of the engine and i'm going to be tearing down the old engine and the impala engine that's on the stand and just redoing everything head gaskets up oil pan timing cover i've got to swap a bunch of stuff I was debating on maybe painting some stuff, but I don't know if I want to do all that or not. But, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. So, y'all have a good night. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.